Hello everyone and welcome to Battlescape. Now this is a very interesting and fun server. Uh, when I found it, I played it for weeks straight. Um, and I'm going to show you why. This is what happens when you start, right? You log in and you create the aesthetics of your character, the way he looks and if it's a male or female. But after that you get presented with this menu where you get to choose between a normal account and an Iron Man account. Now if you look through these options, it's pretty... Uh, it, it's explanatory, you just go through it. Um, when you're in normal mode, the XP is very fast when you're doing combat, obviously 400 times uh, the combat XP, 200 times prayer XP, but on top of that we get lamps as well when we start. So I'm going to take you through the start of the game and what you can look forward to, when, if, which I hope you will, uh, pick up this, I want to say pick up this game, but all this is downloading a client, so. But get into it, get into the community, it's it's pretty great. Um, so there's normal mode, which is normal. You can trade. Oh my god, that fucking sound. That sound is when there's a pet uh, following someone and it's at the home and it's so fucking loud. Um, but here are the rates for the Iron Man. Uh, they can't trade. I don't know why it says no trading because they can trade but they can only give stuff and the only thing they can receive is bonds which can be redeemed for uh, a ring of wealth or a gold membership which lasts 14 days um or they can be used for instances which is on the ring of wealth as well so we won't we probably won't get into bonds but there's no trading you can't use a gun exchange and there's no staking and the shops are very different um and the cash bags will go through that the group iron man is very interesting What's being worked on right now is a thing called uh, hard mode, I think. In hard mode, all the drop rates are significantly lower, so it's it's uh, a lot harder to retrieve items. And you can only trade with um, people that are hard mode as well. So this makes it kind of like a group Iron Man mode. But it's, it's definitely a lot harder because the, the drop rates are... Um, and even here it says the drop rate boosts are hard when you're in Iron Man mode, but I think that's just for boosts, um, which we'll get into. But we're going to pick normal mode because we're just going for a standard tutorial on how to play this. Um, so normal mode, let's go. And you have the option to go back, but we're sure of our choice. Um, so we're gifted with the quite substantial starter kit. We're immediately going to turn the fucking sounds down. Holy shit. Sorry if you like the uh, sound of a pet being a... Uh, mode around the spawn now we we instantly join the uh the home chat the clan chat it can be quite uh shit at times but we're gonna roll through it if you see me anything in the chat that you don't appreciate then i apologize i'll do my best not to let it be seen uh we're given this great starter kit the antique lamps are instant 99s which i don't think we're released when I started playing because I don't remember getting an instant 99 but I told you here level 99 um remember what the fuck does that say oh right right, right. it gives you HP XP as well uh is that the XP divided by three goes to I don't fucking know anyway <laughs> so if we want to get an instant level we can uh I guess we'll go attack and strength Sure. My HP is already 94. Holy shit. We do want to get some defense because we want to be able to buy armor and use it. 60 is alright. Um, we're not going to be able to get barrows anytime soon anyway. So we'll probably be using rune. Um, the blessed lamp is just for prayer. Which, If you want to be a pure, if you want a lower prayer level for some reason, you can obviously do that. And the last one we'll use on range, because range is quite useful. So we can already equip our Dragon Scimitar. Uh, I'm going to turn my brightness up. Right, let's go through some options. Uh, if we go through the game options, a lot of people are going to know this already, because they obviously play Old School RuneScape, but when I played this, I wasn't a really big fan of Old School RuneScape, um, so I didn't know all these options. Uh, I usually like to have this on left click or available, and I like to go in here, and set this to escape closes current interface. So I can press that and then press escape and bam, the interface is gone. I like to go in here and press this 
toggle uh, shift click drop. So if I hover over something and press shift and then click. Oh yeah. And if you get a drop, it comes up in chat globally. If you get a really cool drop, like a really rare drop. I, I think that's a really nice feature. Um, so let's go into our bank. A bank full of nothing, but now it's full of goodies. So what we want to do first is let me show you the shop over here. Let me just, why am I doing that when it's right here? Uh, zoom, about, zoom out a bit. If you like to zoom out with uh, your scroll wheel, you can just go to this option here. It'll probably be like that. And then you can't. So you just press it again and bam. So if we go to the emblem trader. Now this trader sells stuff, but for a different currency, not for gold coins, but for uh, blood money. Um, and there's a whip here, which is 17,700 blood money. I'm not sure. I guess it was always like that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually go on the website and vote. And when you vote, you get all these cool rewards. But mainly what we want is the blood money. So we can actually get ourselves a whip straight off the bat without the slayer level. And without like, I think there's like three mil or something on the server. I can't remember. The prices always change, but a grand exchange is over here. So we can check actually uh, what the lowest selling price is. So if we go into the grand exchange, uh, just show this off as well. There is a working grand exchange. So we go to Abyssal Whip. No one is selling. Someone's trying to... Oh, okay. I guess the average offer is at 634k. But no one's actually selling. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on to the website. Okay, so we have the website here. Um, we don't actually have to register because when we created our account, uh, right here, Toilet, <laughs> what a flattering name. It already creates that uh forum account for us so if we just log in press remember me log in we're already logged in so after that we can go to vote and we want to vote on all these websites right here except for these two because we can't well we can on this one but it doesn't register okay so now that we voted on all the websites we can actually go back to the game and we have to log out for the changes to make an effect. So if we just log out and log back in quickly. Uh, and you see we're presented with a message. But if we go to the main tab, which I should have shown off earlier. Uh, there's all these cool features. Um, but you'll no notice here it says have voted yes. So we have actually voted. We have 20,000 blood coins. Um, if we just put them up here. Blood money, take that out. We need 17,700 for our whip, so that's good. That's going to help us create more money and good times. So now we have a whip. Now that's the first stage of us starting. So now, oh, I'm level 109, cool. What I want to show is, uh, is that right? Yeah, that should create a placeholder, cool. Just move all this shit up here. Um... Now we're going to take out our money and we're going to go to the shop because we have no armor. Wow, they moved a lot here. Holy shit. So let's go to Horvik to get some armor. Uh, not low. Horvik. Uh, we're going to want a Nezanot helm. Blah, blah, blah. So. Value, okay. You're going to want to come in here and get all your gear. So if you're ever on the server and you're actually looking for a Dragonfire shield, you want to come in here and uh, Thessalia, which I'm standing on. We'll sell your dragonfire shield for 95 coins. And what I just noticed is they put spirit shields in here, which I think is very... What's the point when <laughs> you kill Corp for X amount of times and you don't see anything but a spirit shield for a very long time? It kind of... They're only 85k in the shop. That kind of kills everything. Like when you kill Corp, that's one of the unique items. And you're like, oh my god, I've killed this boss. Four million times. All I've seen is a fucking spirit shield. And what what is it worth? 85k. When it used to be worth millions because it wasn't in the fucking shop. So yeah, I don't agree with that. And I'm gonna get glory. Oh, I already got one. Why is that? Why? Okay. The cool thing about the server is that nothing needs charges. So I can rub the glory and I can go to these three locations and obviously use it at level 30 wild. So I'm gonna need that. I can't believe a spirit shield is worth so little. Holy shit. Also a cool thing to note is that all the skill cape uh, abilities on the server are working as well. So if we had 99 range, we could obviously use an 
uh, ranger cape instead of Ava's and stuff like that. So I'm going to be using attack uh, skill cape. So after I gearing up, I think that marks the end. Who the fuck are you? Okay, you just got in my frame. I think that marks the end of this episode. Join us next episode where I'll be uh, showing you how to get certain things like Barra's gloves, which we're going to need. We can't be doing with Miffle gloves and we need a fucking dragon defender and we have no ring, which I think we're going to aim towards a berserker ring, but that's a bit out of our price range considering they go for at least 10 mil. <laughs> so maybe uh, we'll try and get that on our own. Who knows? Diagon of Kings, pretty cool on the server, pretty easy. Catch you next time. Goodbye.